Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing well. Before I get started on the budgets deck video, please go ahead and check out the video. I'm gonna link in the description. If you're looking for a giveaway, um, Whizbang's workshop bundle giveaway is happening very soon. On the 11th is when I'm going to announce the winner. Uh, again, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff to get a chance to win one of the uh, the bundles. And for every 500 subs during this giveaway, I will add a mega bundle to it. Um, just wanted to make sure everybody saw that that might not have seen it before, even though I've talked about it 50 times now. We're going to talk today about budget decks. And I really think that unless the core set refresh happens before um, Whizbang's workshop comes out, this is probably the last um, video of this nature, only because there has not been a lot of significant movement on these decks. For the past few weeks, um, everything that I've talked about is the same thing. If we're looking at the win rates, you know, it's, it's the same as it was last week, essentially. Paladin, Death Knight, Warrior, Warlock, um, it hasn't changed. Demon Hunter, still not able to climb up. Um, so what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to spend a little bit extra time, I'm going to give you a deck that you can play as low cost as possible for every single class, knowing that um, a couple of them are a little bit higher than the 5,000 dust minimum that we normally, maximum that we try to do, um, but I just wanted to give everybody options in case they're looking for something. So remember this when you're looking through some of these, and let's go ahead and let's just start right away with Cleave Hunter. Cleave Hunter is at 5,560 dust, and it's a 63% win rate. Um, really, there's multiple options that you have if you're looking for any hunter decks. Um, Arcane is at 56%, Highlander's at 55%. So you have so many options with Hunter, but this is the cheapest. Cleave Hunter is the cheapest that you can do um, for this uh, expansion, at least right now during the meta. Um, and it is Awakening Tremors, getting those pieces together. The one thing that you want to worry about is Absorbent Parasite, Magnetic Rush, and it magnetized a mix and beasts and you want to try to put together a very good combo with either hollow hound which will help you get some uh some some leveling right there you also want to work with the stone bound gargon which is rush and if you infuse it it also damages the minions next to whomever this attacks um there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with this so it's a good deck it's pretty easy to pilot if you know that you're trying to get those combos together where you're trying to maximize your hollow hound or your stone bound gargon and it is a little bit more expensive like we usually used to do but it is a fun deck i would not suggest crafting any cards right now until the new expansion drops so if you don't have these cards i'd be hard pressed to say hey yeah let's craft these for right now so many things are going to change when the, the set comes out so many things are going to change when the core set comes out just wait stand by things will things will be a lot more uh, focused and streamlined as soon as those those two things happen uh next up for mage um we're gonna talk about secret mining mage because that one looked like the most um the most profitable there in terms of winning games and it's only at 2560 dust but looking at the other mage decks that's out there you've got um you've got casino mage you've got mining mage you've got secret mage and we're going to talk about the secret mining mage um it's just listed it's a bunch of the secrets package if you look at what um mage has been able to do the past month or two they've been able to work with secrets then that's been much longer than than a month or two um and then of course we're also using the burrow buster to get those um those excavates uh to to your advantage so it's a good deck um, it's very easy to play, but it's very reactive to what your opponent is playing. It's not like a set like, okay, here's the one-two punch combo. Um, just, you know, measure what your opponent's doing, and you have cards to counter what your component, uh, opponent's doing. And there is a lot of disruption that you're doing with this deck. Your opponent is, you know, they've got so many secrets they're dealing with. Which one is this? Which one is that? So um, it's, it's a good deck, something for you to try. In terms of Paladin, the next one 
going to talk about. This is low uh, cost. It's at 3,900 dust. It's aggro paladin. It's got a little bit of pure in it. It's got a little bit of aggro. It's got a lot of aggro. Um, and this is at a 68.2% win rate. This has been very high up on the food chain for many, many weeks. Um, there's been many iterations of it but the cool thing with this one and i've mentioned it before apologies for sounding like a broken record but you know the the meta is a little bit stable right now in one specific place and doesn't have a lot of fluctuation but um it's very easy to create big minions that will hit your opponent in the face and if you're facing um, paladins make sure that everything is off of the board so you want to keep your things on the board as much as possible keep them as sticky as possible and then use listen you use countess crusader aura jitterbug everything together is just a one-two punch and look it's got garden's grace listen i'm a very big fan of paladin but i think this card needs to go but from what we've seen if you haven't been watching some of the new cards are even more busted than garden's grace so next up we're going to talk about priest this is really in terms of low budget um this undead priest package is the only thing you're messing around with everything else is just super expensive and it, this one right here is at uh 3560 dust with a 66.1 percent win rate um and it's the the undead package it's using dark bishop benedictus like we've talked about before your hero power um, it does damage instead of healing, and it's just using the utilities of the undeads that you have to beat your opponent down. Simple as that. It's very easy to pilot. This deck is, is pretty good um, against a lot of classes as well. And listen, this is going away pretty soon. It's, this will not be in standard. Um, Dark Bishop Benedictus is leaving the core set, so it will be gone soon. So play it. Uh, next up with rogue rogue has some options but again it's just super expensive um i'm going to talk about this one here but it's very expensive it's also very very good uh very difficult to fight against it's miracle rogue um this is at 6520 dust again a little more expensive but i'm trying to you know see if there's anybody out there that needs to come up with a good rogue disc deck and they have a lot of these cards um it's a 51.9 percent win rate it's got gone fishing in here it's got miracle salesman miracle salesman has been i've been seeing a lot more play um on the you know cards played list in the past couple of weeks it's got astalor astalor's leaving soon play it while it's hot uh swift scale trickster it's got necklo lord draka scribbling stenographer um this is also triple sevens these are these are good cards they should be able to play it's also shadow demise and my understanding is i believe that one's leaving as well each time you cast a spell transform this into a copy of it so again mentioning it again please do not you know craft any of these cards right now um i would save all of your dust until the new set comes out uh, next up, Big Shaman, and this one is a little bit more expensive, not not a crazy amount, but this is 5,320 dust, and it is at a 58.4% win rate, and what you're doing now is you're messing with, you're trying to get the Stoneborn Generals, you're trying to get from the other side, Flesh Behemoth is just big minions that you'll be able to fight your opponent with, and the cool thing is you've got Mask Reveler, which copies a 2-2 of another minion in your deck, which hopefully is the Stoneborn born general or the flesh behemoth um if if you are able to be stable on board for turns and turns and turns when you're able to pop off some of these good ones and it also has the golgoneth titan in here um 5320 dust is not that bad for the win rate um and it really is the only thing it's really not that great on is uh paladin right now and it's not terrible it's just it's it's not as strong against paladin as all the other classes uh, next up, Sludge Warlock. I, I, I'm going to be a little excited when the new cards come out um, for Warlock. They look amazing. I'm hoping that uh, the Warlock archetype moves away from the Sludge and goes to something else. I didn't I didn't enjoy playing it personally, um, even though of how powerful it was. I could have easily gotten wins because it was just broken um, at certain um, times during the meta, but I just I was I didn't feel... 
I didn't feel like it was as fun as some of the other warlock classes I've played throughout, uh, archetypes that I've played throughout the years. So I kind of passed it by, but this one's at 4,680 dust, 65.5% win rate. And it's just really, it's just building up all those sludges and putting all those sludges in your deck and then working towards um, whether you're using chaos creation or waste remover to destroy all those sludges in your, um, in the bottom of your deck and kill the opponent that way. Um, you've seen it if you've been playing Hearthstone at all. You know how these counters work, especially for Sludge Warlock, because it's a very, very popular um, deck that's being played. Uh, let's go to Warrior right now. And Warrior is another thing. Warrior has a lot of fun decks that you can play, but they're all just super expensive. Um, I haven't really talked consistently about a Warrior deck um, in quite a bit, only because of how expensive it was. It doesn't fit with the budget aspect of these videos, but here's one here. It's at 6,040 dust. Its win rate is 55.7. If you have these legendaries, so if you have Ignis and a lot of people do if you have odin um you have no problems pulling the rest of these cards out um and it's just it's exactly what it says it's control the board control your opponent you have ignis so you can go ahead and do fun stuff and get that custom weapon that's just totally broken um you've got odin for the rest of your turn uh rest of the game excuse me after your hero gains armor they gain that much attack for this turn so the two things right there with the weapon and whatever odin does just smacks the heck out of you um and your opponent pretty much dies one turn two turns usually it's an otk so it's it's not easy to pilot but it's not you know it's it's not the worst thing that we've dealt with um it's just so expensive which is why i don't talk about it a lot uh next up i said we're gonna go through all classes let's go all through all the classes unholy death knight is the best of all the classes this isn't gonna cost you anything um there's a couple of cards at least one card that i'm looking at right now that leaves the core set right now and that's lord merogar this is an undead um composition and we've talked about it many many times uh build up your corpses and then use lord merogar at the end if you even need to use it at the end because there's so much synergy with the undeads and your hero power it's usually pretty easy um to defeat your opponent and it's got a very high win rate you know like i said uh 60.7 percent is really good right now um especially bronze through gold ranks uh, you should be fine playing this and we've talked about it many many times This is probably one of the decks that I've mentioned the most since um, This archetype was 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 announced, you know unholy death knight or what have you um, Let's see next up is big demon hunter. This one's at 4,700 dust with a 55% win rate again. I'm gonna mention it again Do not craft any of these cards because if you see here the win rate has plummeted in the past few days so don't even bother doing that um one of the things we're just going to go over with this is with big demon hunter you've got fell scale evoker which is a kind of a big minion all fell breaks loose and illidari inquisitor you want to go ahead and build this on the board you've got ignis in here so listen if you have ignis not only can you play this control one but you can also mess around with this in uh, demon hunter it's got going down swinging crimson expanse um a lot of cool cards in this that's just right now um demon hunter is not that popular and you can see right here it's not good against uh death knight there's a lot of death knights it's not good against hunter not that great against hunter um it's a little okay against uh paladin and priest and everything um it's okay in uh, uh with against rogue um shaman will kick its butt it looks like it's a 41 percent win rate when you're playing shaman so only play this if you have all the cards test it out it's not going to be too popular but i wanted to give every single class a chance in this list to round it out and no i did not save the best for last but some might argue that it is the best is triad druid and this is 1560 dust for a 68.1 percent win rate so besides sludge um triant druid has just dominated the meta for months and months and months now um it'll be interesting to see what um you know be careful what you ask for if you're asking for oh i wish treant would go away because if you've seen some of the new cards um it looks like we're gonna have some more busted stuff coming on the druid front but like i said 68.1 percent win rate it's very strong build up your treants and then use um cultivation to end it 
with everything else that's in here, um, you'll be able to get a very easy board of two twos and turn them into six sixes and, you know, plus one, plus one of every single one of them smacked again in the face two, three times, and you easily won. Look at that. There's no legendaries in this deck. And the cool thing is, this has been around for forever. Look at this. Look at the win rates. Yeah, it dipped a little bit right in the beginning of February, but still, it's still high. It's still high. It's a pretty popular deck for as long as it's been around. Um, so kudos to that. And, you know, it's at 1560 dust, so low cost as well. Um, that's it. I will see if, you know, if anything changes or the core set comes up, I'll definitely put another video over next week, um, budget centric, or maybe go through some of the cards that I think that would be smart for you to put in um, the core set or, you know, craft from the new set once it comes through. I'll put something together uh, budget centric and let me know your thoughts on the meta. Have you been liking the meta so far? Um, are you excited as I am for the change? And I, as always, I will see you in the next video.